round five. The first would drop only their second game from five against Montrose in round five, falling 91 runs short of Montrose's demanding 235. It would be tough to say that Holland got spanked after taking four wickets. It's funny to say it, so we'll stick with the knowledge that 75 runs from his bowling could have been the difference. Also, having Rabs as your spinner is a stinker option. Disses 42 would be the only shining resilience, with the Dites bowled out by the better team. The seconds would also go on to drop points in their game against the South Dite. Despite an RC 58 from the returning Messiah Blake tickets Morgan, Pockets would be the only light of resilience for Coco's mob, with Stretch and Brando pitching in with three wickets. Votes will be tight despite the defeat. Tickets are Monty to ensure he tried to buy the votes after the match. Round eight at Basie Park saw Warrandyte threes provide the only win for the round. With Stuart Hallworth's falling 78, short of his milestone, Hallworth's display with the bat was backed up in the bed as the new father delivered on all fronts. Klein's return to the three would bring runs as well. Warrandyte chasing an unlikely outright victory. All 200 votes should go to the one man though. Round eight for the fours saw them anchored to the bottom of the ladder like the Titanic to the Pacific. Warrandyte posted 203 runs and Grant Hartman finally popping up with something good in the match. Warrandyte were unfortunate again to not get a win against the Woods. For no reason other than showing this video, John Ryan bowled six overs, none for 31. Round five. Can't you see that I need a girl that can move, make her hips 